Yes, it's Rin. <gasps> Tell me, what have I done? It's what you haven't done, Alice. I know you have questions, but why not ask yourself? All the answers that you need are inside of you. I don't understand. You've been so worried about why you couldn't possibly be Mokuren that you've never once thought about why you possibly could be her. I think it's my fault that you're fighting your awakening because we're engaged. So I don't like it. Who cares? <gasps> but Rin! I'm giving you your freedom back. I want you to promise me, though, if you can't let yourself believe, at least let yourself stop denying. Shion hasn't given up on you. He wants you to awaken. He needs it, Alice. I want... Shion wants you to be... Mokuren. Until you accept your identity, Shion's search for Mokuren can never end. I can't live without you. If you deny the truth, then you're denying me. You're here in my arms, and yet I've never felt so far from finding you. It's just like that horrible dream that I keep having every night. I wake up on the moon and I'm all alone. I realize that the Earth was only a dream, that you were only a dream. I'm all alone. I look for you, but I never find you. And then I'm forced to come back to this. Even a cruel happiness is better than none. Even a dream of you is better than none. I'm not a dream. I'm sorry. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Even though we're not engaged anymore, can we still talk like this once in a while? Rin, don't ever stop talking to me, no matter what. I won't. It's just like Rin said. I've been trying so hard to deny it, I've never admitted it might also be true. Maybe I really should consider it. I mean, it's not so ridiculous that I might be Mokuren, is it? How odd. All this time I've been waiting for Xion, but the only one I can think of now is Rin. Maybe some time apart is the only way for me to believe that Mokuren and I are really one. And... The same. Xion! Hey, Xion! Uh -huh. hmm? It's me, Gyokuran, aka Jinpachi Ogura. What a coincidence! Do you go to school around here? Uh, yeah. I was planning to drop this off with my older brother at the zoo. But maybe it can wait a while. Hey, how's about a cup of coffee before class? Uh, sure. So, your brother works at the zoo then? Yeah, he takes care of the giraffes. Giraffes? Wow, that's cool. You like them? Sure. Doesn't everyone? Their eyes just seem to be so sad. But their mouths always seem to be smiling. <laughs> I like how relaxed they look, while also being exotic. You're definitely not the Xion that I remember. <clears throat> In fact, if I didn't know better, I'd almost think you were Shikaido. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something weird? Do you remember that weird little kid lives next to Alice and says he's Shikaido? He says that you've been doing your damnedest to break up the engagement between him and Alice. If it's true, you're lucky I don't kick your ass. <gasps> hey, sit down! You didn't answer my question yet! I don't have to explain myself to you. Why would I? Yes, you do! If you're calling yourself Xion, then the hell yes, you do! While we're at it, why don't you answer another question? If you're really one of us, why'd you try to drown yourself? <clears throat> oh. You... you just don't... you just don't get it. You don't get anything! Xion, why are you doing this to me? He's soaking. What's wrong with him? Uh, 
Here, you missed one. Huh? Thanks. So, you here alone? Uh, yeah. So, you come to the aquarium often? Once in a while. Because you like earth animals? Uh-huh. I suppose you could say that. Well, in that case, this will mean more to you than it does to me. Go ahead, take it. I, uh... See you around. Uh huh? Go easy on those teleports, kid. They're a real bitch on your heart. Each one you make brings you that much closer to your final reward. Take care of yourself, okay? Um. on the way home. But how do you find his way here? By cab. He says the driver knew the name of the school. Poor little guy. <laughs> oh, good, you're here. Look, your big brother's here. Now you can stop crying. It's okay. Be a big boy and don't cry. <laughs> Gee, big brother, why haven't you met with Alice yet? The way you chased after Moku ran on the moon, I would have thought you'd welcome a chance to get close to her again. I know what you're up to, Shion. Gyokuran told me you broke your engagement with Alice. According to him, I'm the one who forced you to do it. Why did you want to tell him that? What's with the innocent act? I'm letting you have your way with her, aren't I? You're not fooling anybody. You're no closer to letting Mokurin go free than you ever were, are you? You're just using me to get what you want. You couldn't awaken her, so you want me to do it. That way, you get the keyword, I get the blame, and no one knows you're involved, right? You're creating a scene, big brother. Lower your voice. Why don't you just kill me and get it over with? I'm tired of playing these games with you. Can the melodrama. What's so hard about betting a cute girl? My God, is her keyword worth that much? Is it worth you sending your stooges after me with notes? Did you really think that I wouldn't know you sent him? Let me see that. Actually, I didn't send him. Ironic, huh? I'm S, he's M. This is the part where you should really get scared. <sighs> First of all, I find it insulting that you think I'd need a stooge when I'm perfectly capable of delivering my own death threats. Second, you shouldn't have shown me the note. It may cost your precious Tamura's life. Huh. So you did get word to him in Kyoto, then. Thanks for the tip, pal. Pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Ring around the rosies, pocket full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall down.